Welcome back everybody. Here we are on day six. We are gonna do a house tour. Woo! So you guys are all familiar with this room. This is the kitchen. Here is the window. This is where we're normally filming like this to get good lighting from the window and I'm standing next to the fridge. We're filming more outdoors nowadays though. Now that it's nicer, which I like. This is the little uh, side shelf. Nuts, seeds, spices, salt, pepper, etc. The refrigerator. A little fruit section. And we've all seen this area before. The sink and all that good stuff. The stove. There's the table we eat. We only have one chair there. You'll see why in a minute. This is our living room. Have a couple chairs here. Chairs. This is the computer where it sits. I kind of like the level of it, so I can stand if I'm if we're editing videos versus sitting. The hydrator. Yeah, got a hydrator over here. Through the hydrate. Piece of bananas. Piece of whole bananas. They should be ready any day now. They're not really green anymore. They got brown spots. They're still these, a little. Bad spots here. Well, I guess they're all right. They're not mushy. A window you can see outside. Bookshelf. Got some good books here. How not to die. Nutrition. Exercise. Haven't watched. Haven't seen how not to die yet. Haven't read. I mean. Other books and stuff there. What is this, Sarah? It's essential oils. There's more over there. This is Sarah's little collection. Maybe she'll go over that. Yes, this couch is leather. No, we did not buy it. No, we didn't ask for it. Yes, it was a gift given to us. So, you know, yeah. it would kind of hurt the people if we just got rid of it. We, It actually just showed up to our house one day. Yeah. Just, it showed up to our house, came home from work, and I helped them brought it. They helped me bring it in. We didn't even know we were getting it that day, did we, Sarah? No. So, yes, it's leather. No, we didn't buy it. It is comfy. I will admit that much. Paper shredder. Another window. The soaking station. We soak beans, lentils, seeds. We soak everything here. And a little water. We pay 39 cents a gallon. These are five gallons. We go through these fast. This is the... This is oh. the best tasting water ever. So super good. The only thing better than this is a mountain stream in Colorado that I've ever had. Oh, show them the Jerusalem picture. Yeah, this is Jerusalem. This is where the Temple Mount would have been. Right up here, the Dome of the Rock. I was here right before I met Sarah. There's the Eastern Gate. This is a uh, pic taken from the Mount of Olives. The picture is taken. Garden of Gethsemane would have probably been around here. So, Let's go to the bedroom. There's a there's when we got married. Don't look too much different. All right, so these chairs. The reason these chairs are not at the table and they're here is because the wind blows in the windows at night. Now in the winter time. We gotta keep these windows shut and then the chairs just stay in there. But now that it's summer out, the wind kind of blows in, the curtains fly up, they'll flat back to the wall, wakes me up. I'm, I don't sleep as sound as Sarah. Not only that, the light kind of comes in. I like it to be as dark as possible when you sleep for better quality sleep. Whoa. Oh, you almost tipped my water I almost over. tipped her water. This is our bedroom, our, our bed. Of course, is our bedroom. This is the bathroom. Shower. I just showered here a few minutes ago, actually. And a closet. Now, Sarah, Sarah gasped when we toured this house the first time for a clock because yeah. of how big this closet is. Look at it, look at how huge this closet is. It could fit, this could almost be a mini bedroom. Yeah, it could. It could fit a guest in here or something. 
This is a Sarah's little section, winter coats. My section, I actually want to get rid of more shirts. I'd like to eventually get down to about 10 shirts altogether, including winter stuff. Epic Holy jeans up there. There used to be a lot more stuff in here, actually, if this looks crowded. Yeah. We got rid of a bunch of stuff this January, though, this past. Well, this is just a little guest bathroom here. Tiny. Let's go down the stairs. Here's a little bit of a uh, Ninja Warrior practice. I've actually climbed this wall before. I could do it sometime if you guys want. Comment below if you want to see me climb this wall sometime. Just jump up, reach, and climb. I'll do it. Alright, let's go. Coming on down the stairs. We've all seen this before, at least if you watched that video, how to do a pull up out of your own home, it'll be linked above. This room is a bedroom. Usually my parents sleep here if we have any other guests. This is the bed. This is a lazy boy chair. I want to get rid of this thing actually. Does anyone want it? They Anybody can come to Michigan we'll and get it. it. We'll sell it if you want it here. It's pretty comfy. We just gotta yeah, love in Michigan. Come pick it up. Come pick it up if you want it. We'll sell it to you. Hundred bucks maybe. I don't know. Fifty. I don't care. Name your price. It's pretty oh, old. Closet. You forgot the closet. Oh. Here's the closet. Not much there. Not much there. Here's stuff we were trying to get rid of at a garage sale. Somebody wants this North Face, face jacket, too, of Sarah's. Yeah. We'll sell it cheaply to you. This thing's worth like 150, 150 bucks on Amazon. This didn't sell at the garage sale. And if you're watching this, thank you so much. He installed this room. We, fi we found out when we, when, we, when we bought the place that the, this was used to be just a wall. We found out that there was nothing in here. So my dad came over. Uh, you can see a little mess up he did. That's okay. But it's a walk-in closet. Extra There's no light in here. Yeah, there is no light. This is, uh, this, we added this. My dad helped us make this room. All I did was tear out this wall and put the door in. And then back here, Can't you really can see, see it. Well, back there is all our camping stuff, our packs, our tent, all the stuff for our, our camping Colorado trips. No What's in here? Can you guess it? Bathroom. Bathroom. Downstairs bathroom. And what do you think is on the other side of this? Laundry room. With a dryer that doesn't work. It's it works, old. but it doesn't dry anything. What are you doing? Boo! Oh. I'm just being goofy. That's a little hiding spot. Oh, here's a water filter that... It doesn't work out so good. It doesn't taste the best. It, well, it doesn't... It, it takes like a year to give you a gallon of water. All right, so what is this is our living room. This is my TV. This used to be epic back in the day. About nine years ago, I bought this TV. It was epic then. Good stuff. This is the stuff I like. We got a bunch of Marvel movies. Got some Xbox 360 games. Some Nintendo games. There's my Wii U. Xbox Xbox 360, Xbox One, Nintendo 64, and I am a big Mario fan, if you didn't know that. This is a poster of some Mario pictures. Got some Rock Band stuff, Nintendo 64 games back here. Oh, uh, we're thinking of selling this chair, t this too. We just don't need all this furniture, we want to be more minimalist. 
pretty comfy as well. Come, on, come pick it up. Come pick it up if you want it. We got this chair here too. Um, this is our main one. This also reclines. You can, uh, you know, lines up with the TV, as you guys can see. And a little room. Closet. This is the Dance Dance Revolution Pad. Maybe you guys have seen it back in the day. DDR. I've had that thing for about 12 years now. The thing is epic. If you ever want to see a video of me playing that game, I used to be really good back in the day. I haven't played it in a good year or two. If you ever want to see a video on that, let me know. I'll be happy to show you. Or maybe, maybe we'll do a clip of it. I, it doesn't need to be a whole video. All right, Sarah. Shall we head outside? All right. The plant fell over. The plant fell over. What happened? Uh oh. You need to plant that tomorrow. Yeah. I think you got to keep the plants in the garage, babe. Yeah. Let's go put them in the garage. All right, there's a garage. Got our cars, our bikes, lawnmower. Really got to clean this thing. One of these days I'll have time. So what does the front of our house look like? Now let's head to the back, Sarah. I'm going up the back? You're going to show a garden? I got to get a coat on. Oh, babe, it's not that cold. Yeah, it's like... 70 degrees out here. It's June. We don't wear coats anymore. All right. Feeling warmer? Yeah, it's cold. It's like, it's got to be like 70 out. It doesn't feel like it. It's crazy. All right, well, it is windy though. So going to the side of the house. Here is the side. You haven't seen the garden in a while. You know what? I haven't seen the garden. It's because I go to work, and then I go swim a mile, and then I go run six miles, and then I eat dinner, and then I film, and then I edit, and then I go to sleep. That's my life. See, so, our kale plants got eaten, I told you. Oh, where? I you told you, the bunnies. Yeah. Remember I told you that they got this eaten? This one got eaten. That one got eaten too? That one. Ah, oh, frickin' bunnies. There's that one. Oh, and this one too? Man. How are, we, how are we supposed to have kale with bunnies eating our stuff? That is... You know, they might be cute animals. Maybe we should barbecue and eat them. No. I'm kidding, guys. We're vegan. It's a joke. A raspberry plant that'll be ready later. Uh, we got some peppers, cilantro, the kales that are getting eaten by bunnies. Ooh, strawberries. Oh, this one, ooh, this one looks ready technically. All right. Oh man, these tomato, this tomato doesn't look too good. Nope. We're kind of amateur gardeners. These are all tomato plants. We got about nine of them here. Let's go to the new installation in our garden. So all these little potholes you see are uh, little... I don't know if those are sprouting or not. Uh, they probably won't. We're horrible gardeners, dude. We're awful at it. We need like... We need to hire a professional to come out here. All these little holes are supposed to be little spinach things. We planted seeds last week in them. A little late. I know. These ones are going to be watermelon, supposedly. If they sprout. And we got more tomato plants here. As you guys can see, we got wood chips. Why do we got wood chips, Sarah? It's a new method of gardening. New method of gardening. Go back to where we interviewed Seed for Hope Gardens. That'd be back in October, those videos. So about eight months ago. Go back to those and you'll see why we use wood chip methods. Basically, things are covered and you don't have to water as hard because the the wood chips acts as an insulation. Mm -hmm. Here's a couple more plants and herbs. There's a little uh, bonfire pit. We haven't had this in like two years or three, I don't know. 
We haven't done a bonfire in years. And then this orange cable is our internet. Got some electrical boxes. And this is the kind of neighborhood we live in, huh? Live in a subdivision. One day I'd like to live somewhere a little further away from neighbors. Much bigger right. space. Preferably, our dream some day is probably live somewhere tropical. This is only a dream. Hopefully our dreams will come true someday. Live somewhere tropical. Grow food all year. Have a large yard. I don't care about the inside. If it's nice and tropical all year, I could care less. We could, we could have a one bedroom. We could have a small living room, a bedroom, one bathroom, and a kitchen. That's all we need. But a big yard where we can grow lots of food. I'm, I'm, I'm saying you can live off the land, literally. Except we're horrible gardeners as of now. We don't. We barely know what we're doing when we're planting. That would just be a dream, man. Having just hundreds of thousands of plants. I mean, just maybe from here to that trampoline, if you can see that in the distance. That'd be just epic and huge, where you could live off of it and maybe even sell some plants on the side or give it to the poor. That'd mm -hmm. be that'd be awesome. Yeah. But that's only a dream. Will our dreams ever come true? I don't know. No. I hope so. Maybe one day. And, um... Another dream would be just to be doing stuff we enjoy, like, love with our life. Something that's more meaningful. It's part of the reason we do YouTube. Yeah. It's just so that we're doing something meaningful with our life. Trying to inspire and encourage you guys, so... Hopefully we've inspired and maybe encouraged some of you guys. So at least... At least that's what we try to do. It's partially why we do it, because we don't find fulfillment in currently what we do with our jobs and stuff. We don't hate our jobs, but it's just just working for a paycheck. I want to do something that helps people more. So maybe someday we will fulfill our dreams. Another gorgeous night, or it's a cold night, I think. I think it's cold out here. I think it's nice. Anyway, guys, tomorrow's version is going to be a what I eat in a day for dinner. Don't have time to film all day. I'm at work and stuff. Work 10 hours, then I go swim a mile, then I go run six miles. So, what I eat in a day for dinner. What I eat at dinner. Just one meal. Stay tuned for that. It'll be good. Uh, previous videos should be right here, I think. The last two videos. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. More awesome comment. More awesome content's coming soon. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, eat lots of whole foods, treat others the way you want to be treated, encourage one another, and build each other up. You will do great. See you tomorrow, guys. All right, bye, guys.